All right, guys, we're here to talk about uh, 1410, hero versus villain. Who sings that song? Is it a song? Villain? <laughs> yeah, well, because they're all song titles. Oh, okay. I didn't catch on to that. Guys, <laughs> Lyle's here today as my co-host. Hey, guys. Uh, we're, uh, we don't, you didn't know that they were song titles. But their song titles last. I do remember Hollaback Girl was yes. one of the, I do remember that. I just flipped to my line. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, if that's the case, then you're doing a pretty damn good job because uh, you've had some pretty killer scenes. This last episode, holy crap. Surprised you're alone. What's that supposed to mean? You know, I kept thinking it was the intervention that pushed you away. Just what happened after that? I drove Maya to an appointment, so what? So you still have feelings for her? Because I gave her a ride? Because you stare at her from across the hall, Miles. It is almost strangely calm. Is, is it because there's nothing left to fight for? Exactly. I think that you get to a point, like in those situations, you're not even bothering to try and keep something alive that's already dead. It's like beating a dead horse, you know? You are a terrible person. You use and abuse people, and one day you're gonna wake up and realize you have nobody. And I am so happy that I won't be there for that sad, sad day. Because I am so done. Sayonara, Miles Hollingsworth. I feel like those scenes, it's almost better to do like less takes of. Yeah. Because it's like, you build up, you say what you need to say, you walk away, and it's like, it feels real. I think we did three yeah. different sizes, three different takes, yeah. and I'm like, we got it. Yeah. It's so there. So are you guys glad that Tristan stuck up for himself? You guys should comment below and let us know. Bow and arrow before the aerial flip. Got it. And we need tight, high baskets on our basket tosses. No problem, tight, high baskets. Poor little uh, Frankie. Burned by Zoe. Are we surprised? No. We've been watching Zoe Revis for long enough. Like, we know that she's... Not all there. Okay, whatever you think I did, it's not me. I swear. It wouldn't hurt you guys. Now, if you wouldn't mind getting the hell out of here, I have to get all heroic at the assembly. Heroic? You think putting on a cheerleading uniform can cover up what you are? You're rotten inside. You're a villain, and you deserve the absolute worst to happen to you. Allie, at one point, finds out from Claire at the very beginning of the episode that it is Eli's. Eli, you're having Eli's baby? Shh, no one else knows. And then she can't help but tell Dallas, because they're dating. All I'm saying is you should tell him before he finds out another way. No, Allie, you didn't. What the hell, Claire? When were you gonna tell me that Eli was the father? You know, and then Allie's got a problem though, but she's like, you're my boyfriend, I was, I, I told you a secret. How could you? What, Drew deserved to know. Yeah, but you swore you would keep my secret. And he's like, well, he's my bro. Hey. Cause that's a dude talking. Tears, Claire? Didn't expect to see those from such a whore. I feel like they've both like messed around with each other so much that you might as well just like move on and stay together or just break up. Guys, Lyle, take it away. 1411, next week is part one of the mid-season finale. Whatever he said. It doesn't take an idiot. It takes an idiot. <laughs>